We have a wide range of children that come to our club. Some are four, some are 11. So you need something that's going to appeal to all of them, and it does. I really enjoy it, and I love the stories, and I've really got into the characters, and also the things that you can surround it with, lots of games and other activities, just give that continuity and encourage children to come back for more. We use Friends and Heroes because it really engages the children. They relate to the characters um, and over the term it provides a real sense of consistency so the children know exactly what they're doing and even if the teachers change from week to week it means that the children have a real understanding that they're following through something. And one of the main reasons that we like it particularly is because of how true it is to the biblical accounts. We use half an episode each week. We do a lot of other activities but the focus is on the story and the theme from within Friends and Heroes. The quality of the video itself is, is very professional. As a, a school teacher myself, I can see that it has been well thought out so that the children are introduced to a, a topic with something that will grab their attention with a game or something, and then they see the video, and then there's plenty of follow-up afterwards. They'll find it fun, but they're getting something out of it as well. One of the things that's that works very well, that is quite clever, is that the children are able to enjoy the story of friends and heroes and those characters, but then they can clearly differentiate and separate the story of Jesus and the stories from the Bible. And in, through using the DVDs and the worksheets and everything together, they're enjoying a story, but they're also learning very much about the biblical teaching within that. My children obviously enjoy it. They, they always want to come. They're not saying they're bored, they enjoy the lessons. It, it's, it certainly isn't just playtime, you know, for half an hour whilst we're in church. They, they, when we go in there and pick them up, they're always learning and drawing and, and, the, and the stuff that goes along with it and they're coming out with all the bits of paper which I carry around dutifully during coffee time. My favourite thing about Friends and Heroes is it's really, really funny. My favourite bit um, is when Absalom is doing the assault course, um, but he has to try extra hard because um, he finds out that the teacher has sabotaged it. My favourite character is Senator Antonius because he's kind and he cares for other people. After our people left Egypt, they made camp at the foot of Mount Sinai. One morning, Moses went off on his own up the mountain. We were particularly interested in having a set of videos which would have a long-run capability and it enables us with our children's group that by the time we get to the end of one series we've got a totally different crop of children. So Friends and Heroes works very, very well. We are Thursday Club. We have the luxury of having our own cinema. So we take the groups, we sort of cut the groups in half depending on their age and we take them in and they, they watch every week. They get to watch it and they really enjoy it. Our Thursday Club has roughly 40 children every week that come, aged between 4 and 11. This is an amazing ministry we have here to reach out to the children and the families in the area. It's a clear and concise way of teaching them about Jesus. We want a medium that they can understand and Friends and Heroes just gives us that. We have to bear in mind that our children's club is on a Thursday night. They've had four full days in school, so their minds are probably quite tired. And when they come among us, um, Friends and Heroes seems to pitch it just about right. And the characters and the split between the animation and then the 3D animation, uh, where the Bible stories come in, that really does capture them. And it captures me too. I absolutely love it. And it's uh, one of the highlights of my week. In a community like this, often it's not what they say, but what they don't say. If they don't like something, they will very, very quickly tell you. But if they do something, they may not necessarily compliment you. So I think the compliment is the, the fact that there is nothing negative being said. I like Friends and Heroes because it helps me to understand Jesus. I like Friends and Heroes because it tells you most of the story from the Bible. Tie this to the cell door.
We use Friends and Heroes because it's a, a good resource that we find suits the age group that we've got for Kingdom Kids here at our church. The age group ranges between sort of three to nine, but the DVD itself is very engaging for the boys, but, but also for the girls. The children absolutely love it. It's something they're familiar with in terms of the presentation style. It is exactly what they would see on the telly with any children's programme. So it's not foreign to them. It's not something that's out of the ordinary. So it fits very well into their understanding. In terms of the adults, the overall response was they were thrilled to see something of such high quality, but also solidly scripturally based. It meant that the parents have a great deal of peace about what their children are being taught. The children talk about it with their parents. When they get home, um, we get feedback from the parents to say that the, you know, the children have recounted some of the stories, they've asked questions where they haven't understood something. For the leaders, it's just been a brilliant resource. We use Friends and Heroes more as a kind of multimedia resource, so it's not just about the DVD. The leaders get a, a programme which uh, gives uh, instructions and guidance on how we can go about running the course. It's flexible enough for us to be able to use bits that, that we know would be suited for the um, children that we have within our group. In terms of using the online resources, it very much depends on the parents. All three of my children are within the, the, the group here at our church and we try to encourage them to use the online materials and, and particularly the eldest who is seven. He really enjoys the kind of online quizzes and the interactivity of the website. The stories are so clearly explained. They enjoy watching them, they want to come. My youngest one has only recently started Sunday school and she says every Sunday morning, go Sunday school, go Sunday school, watch DVD. And she they're just so excited about it. It obviously just makes it so much more relevant for them and easier for them to understand. The thing that I like about Friends and Heroes is that you get to like learn stories about Jesus. My favourite part about Friends and Heroes is all of it because it teaches us about Jesus and God. It teaches us that we should care for one another instead of doing the bad things. I would really recommend Friends and Heroes to any church, especially at the Key Stage 2 level because the children really have enjoyed it and they've learnt so much. Engaging. Fun. Bible-based. Dynamic. Memorable. Truthful. Informative. Multimedia.